So you've decided you want to become a police officer or you're in the process of thinking, you know what, this isn't a terrible profession. The retirement is pretty damn good. The pay is good as well, um, depending on the department you work for, of course. Um, I could really see myself doing this and th this is the path that you've chosen for yourself. Well, before you make a final decision or before you dive into this, here are five things you probably think about before you go into the police officer profession. What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube from your boy Lab. I am so sorry that it's been so long since I posted. I've been trying to post on my shorts just to try and like help my algorithm, but it's been so long since I posted. It's been like at least two weeks. I think this might make it three weeks since I posted last time on my, on my platform. So I'm so sorry about that. It's been so busy, it's been so hectic. Y'all know what's been going on. I got fired from my previous job and this is a quick, quick introduction. So those who are new, thank you again for the subscribers that I've gained over the time. Surprisingly, I'm still getting subscribers, so I don't know what y'all want from me, but I'm not a cop right now. <laughs> but thank you again for subscribing so far so good. Yeah, I apologize again for the lag in the video posting. I'm gonna try to do better, but of course, I gotta pay the bills. So for those who are new to this channel, basically, I was a police cadet. I was in the police academy for I was in the academy for five months. So the, the police academy takes like five months and some days in some places. Usually six months for real, but I was there for five months and uh, I got fired from my job as a police, police cadet from the academy. Hopefully that happens to nobody, I don't wish that on anybody, just putting that out there. The police officer profession is a very, very honorable profession. Many people don't like it, many people hate the cops, I personally do not. You have to be in the system to know what I'm talking about. I personally do not. I, I love the profession. It's a very, very honorable job. A lot of good people out there. Um, um, if, I, if I had a chance, I'll do it again. If I had a chance, I'll do it again. I do not regret getting to that path whatsoever. But um, I got fired from the job. And in the previous video, which is on my platform, you would know why I got fired from that job. Um, so, but the point is, while I was there in the academy, I learned so much in my little five months and here are five, some of the five things that I learned during my period as a cadet and it, just, it, it ain't just the things that I saw or that I figured out I spoke with others as well I spoke with some police officers that have been working there for like what 20, 25 years or some that have been 10 years some that have been doing for 3 years you know different times in service and these were some of their advice to new cadets like myself going into the academy, going into the, the, the police officer profession. So the first thing I wish I knew or the first thing I think you should know before becoming a cop, I'm, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be tied to the reason why I got fired. The first thing that you should know before becoming a police officer is you can't talk back. Emphasis on you can't talk back. And this is majorly focused around the fact of why I got fired. And I do not want this to happen to anybody out there. I do not wish this to like my enemy or nobody out there. Um, you can't talk back. The, so the major reason why I got fired was the fact that I, I talked back. I, I, I was supposed to de-escalate the situation. There was a grievance. There was somebody that did me bad and um, I should have just let it go. But I'm not used to that. But just, you know, I, I figured, talk about it, try and figure the whole situation out type of stuff. But I guess me talking back and me having that conversation with the lady going to argument that caused an escalation, which is not what police officers are supposed to do. You're not supposed to escalate. And the one way that you can de-escalate is by just walking away from the situation, which is what I should have done. I should just walk away from the situation. So the first thing is first, if you're the kind of person that can't take people talking mad bad at you, and I'm not talking about, I'm not, I'm not even saying like the bad bad ones, like racial slurs. That's of course terrible. But it's gonna be in the job like racial slurs um, Some particular derogatory terms that you probably do not feel comfortable with. Yes All those are terrible, but I'm also, I'm also talking about like the little ones just like you go into the store and The lady at the, ca the ca cashier or the lady there doesn't get something right So let's say for example you go to McDonald's or you know, to other fast food restaurants and the person that's supposed to give you your order doesn't do your order well and you know, um, you find a grievance with it. Yes, you can, you know, complain to the manager, 
but you can't make it a big deal if they're not gonna take care of your stuff just it out man because i promise you it's not worth it in this profession this line the image of the department and the image of the city is extremely important so if they feel like they're whatever you're doing is gonna hurt them in a particular way they're gonna cut you off it ain't personal it's just what it is they're gonna cut you off number two thing your emotional health and your mental health is extremely important we can't overemphasize that if, if, if you feel like your emotional your mental health is something that you're personally still struggling with and you can't really you still having issues with I would not advise you to go into this profession basically because there are so many things on the job that's gonna stress you out and you do not need anything that's gonna stress you out more than you can currently handle so you can go like different calls in the day and, I've, and we, they've had like several scenarios while I was in the academy of different kind of calls they'll get from just um, answering a call about a little kid, you know, dying and as bad as that sound, that really does happen or some child abuse case or domestic abuse case and you're dealing with that or, or, or even a, a pedophile and you're dealing with something like that but when you're done with that then you gotta go deal with um, playing with the little kids and upholding the image of the department and of you know, as a view of the police officer in the, in the society you know those are two different calls and doing those two can take a toll on you so if you as a person do not have your mental health and your emotional health in check that's something you gotta focus on before you go into this job because it will stress you out and it will, it will eventually end up hurting your chances in the future of promoting and you will become a better person in your career Number three thing, your circle of friends is gonna get smaller. I cannot overemphasize that. Um, basically, in this line of job, from what I've heard from like the chief of police and several other departments I was working with and during my academic period, as you keep on working on stuff like this, you hear a lot of calls, you hear a lot of um, some videos that we had to see while in the academy we didn't want to see them but it came with a job you know and these were disturbing videos to watch and like I said if your mental health is not taken care of those kind of things can screw you up in the head sometimes you just need someone to talk to when these things occur you just need someone to talk to when you get to this kind of calls you just need someone to talk to now you can't necessarily talk to your family you know, if you, let's say you're married, you have your wife or your husband or whatever, you can't necessarily talk to them because that's also something called secondary trauma and you do not want to necessarily put that on them. There's only so much you can tell them. There's only so many details you can tell them. Yeah, also, your friends, the same rules that apply. There's only so much you can tell your friends because they don't know how the old line of work works like you do. Now, what that leads you to is many police officers, even to this day, are only friends with other police officers because they understand what they go through they understand the kind of thing they have to go to go through just to get it all out it's unfortunate but it is true so yes one thing about being a cop is your circle of friends are gonna get smaller now maybe because maybe before you used to have like a lot of friends you guys are playing soccer baseball you know you're doing a whole bunch of extra stuff curricular stuff basically it gets to a point by all your friends are mostly just police officers or at least in that same law enforcement type of deal you're dealing with jailers correctional or jailers correctional officers this is the kind of people you're dealing with you're dealing with like the what's the word now um the first responders fire guys the dispatchers and of course police officers so your circle of friends is just going to be limited to those kind of people not like it's a bad thing but when you're dealing with only those kind of people it kind of hurts your own social life because now you don't really know how to interact with other regular folks because you didn't go to war with those guys you didn't go to battle with those guys you went to battle with the ones that are right there with you your police officers it's almost like becoming a soldier so I will say um, if you can get yourself involved in some kind of extracurricular activity do not limit yourself to just talking to your police buddies go out there try and get your social life on go dancing go skating <laughs> it's gonna sound ridiculous but go dancing number four thing you should know going into, the, into this profession 
you're gonna miss out on social events it's just what it is it comes with a job come to the territory i mean in some departments during your interview they basically ask you are you okay with not coming with not coming you know to your daughter's birthday party are you okay with not doing this are you okay with coming on a christmas because yes there will be days like that i mean yeah we all wish I mean, so example, when you go to a department, right, they tell you like, okay, you get this off, you get these days off, and at least like all of the, all of the holidays that they observe. Yes, they do all that. But however, if an emergency calls for it and everybody needs to come in, guess what? Everybody is coming in. It doesn't matter if it's a half day. Hell, during their um, snowmageddon, there was no holiday for, for cops. They were out there working. It's, it's just the way it is. Birthday parties, social events that you're supposed to go for, you're gonna miss those sort of things. Because this job is just, you know, it's very, very taxing like that. And that brings me to my number five point as to what this job is. This job, and you should know about it, is that it's a big responsibility. If you're not ready for such responsibility, this unfortunately might not be the profession for you. There's a lot of responsibility placed into the hands of police officers. There's so much power put into the hands of police officers. Trust me, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> we had our evac one time, and this is a quick story. We had our evac one time, and the evac is an emergency vehicle operation course for some of those that don't know. And we had to drive 40 minutes away to the course where it was at. Anyways, cut the long story short, on our way back, there was like a squad of us with our vehicles and just driving back. And I promise you, nobody pulled up in front of us. Nobody spared. There was nothing like that. Everyone was on their best attitude because all they saw was four car cars. And one state trooper all the way to the front. Everybody just slowed down. I'm talking about this. And this is crazy because on this usual route, I know people are going like at least 90 miles per hour because I go like 75. Which is a speed limit, but I got like 75, I got like maybe 80. And I'm seeing guys meow, meow, go in front of me. But this day, they were like going on their best behavior. So there's so much power, there's so much responsibility. And in that big movie, Spider Man, like you said, with great power come great responsibility. I'm recap on everything I've said so far, so the five things that you need to know before you go into the profession of becoming a police officer. Number one, you can't talk back. You know, you try to de-escalate as much as you can. You can't, you can't escalate any situation. Try to de-escalate it. Number two, your emotional and your mental health is extremely important. So focus on that. Get yourself checked out and, and ensure that you know this is. Ensure you know, okay, this is what is expected in this job. My emotional, mental is probably gonna messed up, but I'm fine with going to it knowing that's the case. Number three, your circle of friends are gonna get smaller. Once you know that. If you can't fix it, then that is fine, but that's the reality of the, of the situation. You're barely gonna have more friends outside of the law enforcement pool. You're gonna have less friends outside of the, outside of the law enforcement pool. Number four, you're gonna miss social events and better parties. Now, this might be an issue for like, you know, the regular single people, but once you're married and you have kids, this might be a major deal for you. Number five, it's a lot of responsibility being placed upon the shoulders of police officers. So. This, you need to know like this is what is expected of me and you need to know that a lot of responsibilities are expected of you because so much power is put on you a lot of responsibility is expected from me these are the five things that i wish i knew and these are the five things that i feel like you should know before you go into this career of this law enforcement profession it's a great profession i love it i do not regret going into it if i had a chance i'm gonna go back into it it's awesome i hope this was able to help you out into making a better decision about the law enforcement profession. This is a great career. If I had a chance, I would definitely go back into it. I'm still thinking about going back to it. I, I don't regret it at all. And I hope you do not either. You know, it's a great profession. Go into it, you're gonna love it. You know, but remember, this is the five things that you should know and get those things checked out first. And then you'll be like, okay, I'm still gonna do it regardless. Good luck in your journey, y'all. But until next time, peace and love, y'all.